Well, welcome back DIY car guys and car girls. Today, we're gonna take apart the car. We're gonna look for evidence of corrosion on everything. We'll go over this whole thing, analyze it, and see what is being affected. This carb's only been in there for about a month. Now, the fuel filter that is back there, that's been sitting in E5, has been sitting in E85 pretty much the entire season. So I've drained all the fuel out. It's pretty easy for me. I just take this guy right here, and then we kind of just stick it in there, turn on the pump, and it drains all the fuel back into my big container of ethanol right there you know i have put um x98 through here and it's sat for about a week so maybe the x98 is a little more corrosive than the pump 85 how long can it stay in there i don't know but we'll be looking at that and i'm also going to do you guys a solid because i'm not willing to leave a bunch of e85 my car but let it sit for months because i don't want to clean it out so let me show you this i'll do you guys a solid this is gonna be some good testing we'll come back to this later on these are aluminum containers. I'm going to dump E85R in here. I did do a test like this in the past, but I made the vent holes too big. And within a week, everything evaporated out. So that wasn't really a good test. So it's a little colder now, has more moisture in the air. I made the little vent holes smaller. And I also scratched inside the container because this is coated in something. So I scratched inside the container so the ethanol will have something to eat at when it's directly on the aluminum. So we're going to do the race E85R which is, when I last time I tested it, it was E90, and we're gonna do the pump E85, which last time I tested that, it was right around 85, 84% ethanol. All right, so let's first take a look at the main body, and honestly, it looks pretty much just like the day I bought it from ATM. And granted, this has only been a month. Do you see a little bit of stuff that's going on right here where the power valve is? Uh, but besides that, it looks really good. I don't see any evidence of any corrosion going on with the main body. Now it is coated in this anodizing stuff. I will show you where I did find some evidence of corrosion. Let's look over here. Okay, so now let's get to uh, the metering blocks and the bowls and the bowl bolts right here. The only evidence I saw any corrosion, there's a little bit on the power valve block off because it's not coated in this anodizing that ATM put on there. See this little anodizing right here? This whole guy's anodized, this is not. So I saw just a tiny little bit right there. It's really hard to see, you probably can't see it. It was a little white when I first pulled it off and when I touched it, did one of those, the white powder that comes off 85 comes right on off. Oh, let me grab this guy. So I'll put this guy up here so we can really see it. This might be hard to see, but I'm gonna rotate this around. It was easier to see when you first pulled it off because it had, you know, that little bit of white residue where it's eating at it. But see those little uh, spots right there? Uh, this screw doesn't appear to be anodized at all. So this sits in the bottom of the bowl where fuel's always in it. And you can see those little spots on there. And it was only on the bottom bolts because you can see this is where the fuel sits right around here in the sight glass. So everything up here looked great. So it was only starting to affect these bottom bolts and the bowls that was sitting in the ethanol for a period of a month. Now, I did have this off and on, so that's probably maybe why this looks so uh, nice and clean. Because whenever I was changing jet to the nitrous, I would pull the bowls off because it's easier to get to uh, the rear uh, jets on the plate. So I had them off several times and um, I guess I didn't let the, the vehicle sit more than a week and I drove it at least every weekend. So from what I can tell, at least from the fuel in my area, if you drive it every weekend, just check over everything just real quickly, you should be okay. Like I said, I don't know the effects of letting it sit for months. I can't imagine that is good, but we'll look at that in my little test that I'm gonna do with the fuel in those containers. Okay, so let's talk about the nitrous enrichment. A lot of guys are just going to run their nitrous off of the main tank. So the fuel that's feeding the carburetor is going to be the exact same fuel that's feeding the nitrous. I don't do that. I have a enrichment system. And let me show you back here. I'll show you the tank for the enrichment system real quick. And here is the tank for the enrichment system. It has its own pump. It's all standalone. It's separate from the carb side. Now, what I do uh, whenever... I put the ethanol in this to run nitrous. When I come back, the day that I come back, I drain it out and then I put race gas back in it. And then when the race gas is back in the enrichment tank, 
I will detach this from the plate. I'll pull it off. I have a line that goes to a drain bucket. I'll turn on the pump and I'll just turn on the noise so that way it washes all the ethanol back out of the entire system and just has race gas in there. Because, you know, gas is, is a petroleum product, so it's going to help lubricate this. Ethanol is a very dry fuel. And if you're running all the same fuel and it's always on a solenoid and it's going in here, going out with the ethanol side, there's a good chance that you're going to start getting that white powder up in here over time. I know some guys are like, man, I've been doing this for so long, I ain't never had an arm problem, man. I don't know what you're talking about. That's fine. You do whatever you want. This is how I'm going to do it because I just don't think keeping ethanol in here for a long period of time without using is ever a good idea especially on the fuel side of your nitrous because all it takes is just a couple of those holes in your plate to clog up or clog up something here and the fuel doesn't go through and you're spraying just nitrous and then you burn up something and you want to blame things well blame your maintenance don't blame the ethanol because if you're going to run ethanol in my opinion is your maintenance is going to be higher if you don't want problems I'm sticking to that. Oh, and also, whenever I take this off, I spray WD-40 in the plate, take compressed air, and I go psh, psh, make sure it's all clean. And before I spray nitrous, I make sure everything is working correctly when the ethanol is on there, so that way I know I'm getting good enrichment, and nothing is gonna really blow up based off of uh, the system itself. Maybe it'll blow up based off of my tune-up. But that's what I do, and I'm gonna stick to that, and I suggest you do it also. Okay, so this is gonna be the money shot. This has been in there for the longest. We're gonna pull this filter out and we'll see exactly how bad it looks. Let's do it. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be what the, uh, what we refer to in the industry as the money shot. Let's check her out. Let's see what's going on. Ho, ho, ho. Looks like we got some business to attend to here. Let's give it a little pokey poke from this side. Oh, it's not deep enough. Hot dog in the hallway. There we go. If we ruin this filter, I don't really care. There's, let's see. You can see all that stuff right there. Look at that. Holy Nikes! Just so you guys know, this is a Amazon very cheap filter. So I would imagine that whatever they're using here, I mean the screen itself doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of stuff here and there. I imagine it's probably whatever is coming off on this is what is embedding right here. But honestly, it's looking here. Eh, a couple little things in there we can clean up, but all in all, you know, not too bad. If we were to put a aeromotive filter in here that has a uh, probably way better metal that goes around the screen itself, it'd probably be a lot better. And finally, we have the filter that I have right before the carb. This is pretty much a, a last chance catch all filter. And let's see how it looks. It's very, very simple. And it looks completely fine. Absolutely nothing going on with it. So, looks like the 100 micron filter is doing its job. Look at that. Looking good. So, we're going to clean everything out and I'm going to replace it with this nice Aeromotive filter, which you can see it does look like it has a little better construction and we'll see how this 40 micron it should be 100 but i don't think it's i'm not making that much power uh, maybe when i go to boost i'll have to change a couple of things around but for now i think this 40 micron air motor will be a good test to see how it holds up well crap and now i'm gonna put all this freaking shit back together but uh stay tuned for the uh the 85 testing we're gonna put in those containers uh it's got to sit for a while but it's gonna be a, a kind of the uh the long picture of how it's going to do in those containers and also i do have a whole bunch of tuning videos for this on nitrous everything from when i first started e85 to where you're at right now so look at that playlist don't forget to subscribe if you like this video share them subscribe tell your friends about them until next time keep on wrenching and peace